So what do we start on our backs today? You can have your knees bent if that feels better on your back or you can have your legs extended out. If you have some props there, you might like putting something under your knees for support, whatever works for you. Let's take a deep breath in and exhale, letting the weight of the body sink into the ground. And another deep breath in. Exhaling, feeling yourself relax, release all the muscles. And if you're joining us late, we're starting on our back. Just being with your breath, deep and slow, feeling it in your belly, your ribs, chest, letting the entire lungs fill as you inhale and empty as you exhale. On your next exhale, bring your left knee to your chest. Pull your chin in so your neck is long and flex your right foot. And press out long through the right heel and breathe in deep and slow. Feel the movement in your torso as you inhale. And as you exhale and your belly relaxes down toward the ground, see if your thigh can come in a little bit closer to your belly. And then hold it there and feel what happens when you inhale deeply. Coming up against the belly, against the thigh. And then exhaling all the air out. Letting that leg move into the empty air. Now bring your left hand around the bottom of your left foot. Release your right hand to your right hip bone. And then lift the left foot so that it faces the sky or the ceiling. You want to try to have your shin bone be vertical. Your foot parallel to the ceiling. And 
then anchor your right hip down with your right hand and with your right leg. Notice where a really deep breath opens more space in the body. When you exhale, relax the back of the shoulder toward the ground, letting the weight of the left hand be heavy on the foot. How is the breath relating to where you're feeling stretch? Is there a connection? And then straighten that left leg out. If you can, you'll hold on to your foot and straighten the leg. Most of you won't be able to, and then you can support the leg anywhere that works for you, either below or above, whichever fosters the greater release of the leg. So maybe below gives you something to drop your weight into, maybe above allows the weight of your hand to encourage the leg to release. Keep your leg straight out to the side. So you don't want to go too low to the ground. If doing so means that your leg is out on the diagonal. You want to be out to the side and even if you're really high up here, it doesn't matter as long as you're getting to your own edge of your comfort zone. So going as far as your body can go is all that matters. Doesn't matter what it looks like, doesn't matter where you are. And then being with it with a sense of curiosity, with a sense of permission for it to be hard, but also with permission for there to be some ease, maybe in the mind, maybe in the parts of your body that are not engaged. You don't have to be working hard. You can relax. And then lift that straight leg up toward the sky. Clasp your hands behind the back of the leg. If you have a strap handy and you want to bring a strap around your leg instead, that'll work. And we're going to point and flex that foot with the breath. Stay connected to the slow rhythm of breathing in and out. as you move. And then hold your foot in the flexed position. Inhale and push up through the heel, pressing the back of your leg into your hand. Exhale, scoop the belly in and draw the leg toward you. You can stay here or if you prefer, you can lift your forehead toward your knee. Slide your hand up toward your foot. And then drop the elbows. Relax the shoulders so that there's a sense of weight in the hands. And that weight is doing the pulling rather than effort. And the right foot stays flexed. The left foot stays flexed. And as you inhale, you push the leg into the hands. Exhale, relax. Keep the shoulders and elbows relaxed. Keep the breath deep.
And then slowly lower your head. Bend your knee again back to the chest. And then release the foot down. Straighten the leg out. Relaxing the leg. Notice how the left leg feels compared to the right leg. And then let's bring the right knee in. Flexing the left foot. Breathing deep, filling from belly to ribs to chest. the way the belly comes out against the thigh as you breathe in. And then when the belly naturally recedes as you breathe out, see if there's a relaxation response that allows that thigh to come in. See if you can feel the movement in the pelvis of the breath. And the pelvis rocks on the exhale. Just let that rocking translate into that right leg coming in. And bring the right hand around the bottom of the right foot. Lift the right foot so that it's perpendicular to the ground. Rather, the shin is perpendicular to the ground. Tuck your chin in toward your throat to keep your spine long in your neck. Bring the left hand onto the left hip bone just for grounding. And when you breathe in, where does the breath go? When you breathe out, can you drop the back of the right shoulder toward the ground? Try to have the right ankle line up over the right knee as best as you can. Press down into the left leg. Expand your breath. Relax into your exhale. And then straighten that right leg out. Holding on to the leg, out to the side, somewhere wherever your hand wants to be. Experiment with above and below. If you happen to be able to still hold on to your foot as the leg extends out, then fine. If not, also fine. If you're using a strap, maybe that can come around the foot. Feel like the left hip is really wanting to come up and pressing down into the left leg and pressing down into the hip of your hand doesn't help. Then turn your head to the left. And then bring that right leg straight up in the air. Clasp your hands behind the back of the leg or use your strap. 
Try to straighten the leg if you can. And breathe in, out, pointing, and flexing. Moving with breath. And then hold the flex position. Inhale and press up through the heel. Press the leg into the hands. Exhale, scoop the belly in toward the spine and draw the leg toward your face. Keeping the head down if that works for you. Lifting the head and sliding the hands up if you prefer. See what's going to serve you today in giving you the better stretch in the back of the leg. Continuing to inhale and pushing up through the heel and pressing the leg into the hands. Exhale, belly in. Let your shoulders drop. Let your Elbows sink. Keep both feet flexed. Feel your breath finding its way all the way up your spine. Challenge yourself to breathe deeper. And then slowly lower your head. Bend the knee into the chest again. Return the foot to the ground. Your hands to the ground. And then release your leg out. Shake your legs in and out, in and out. Feel the leg bones moving inside the hip sockets. And then bend the knees again. Roll over onto your side. And press yourself up. Coming to a seated position. Crossing the legs if you're able. Pull the flesh of your buttocks back behind your sit bones. Sitting nice and tall through the spine. So sometimes lifting tall, you tend to want to lift your chin or hunch your shoulders up. So just be mindful of that and relax the shoulders down and keep the chin parallel to the ground. Just pull up through an imaginary point at the center of the crown of your head. And then we'll inhale and reach the arms up and exhale and fold forward. See if you can bend your elbows. You may not be able to and keep your hands on the ground, that's fine. But if you can bend your elbows, bend your elbows so that your upper body gets the message that it's okay to relax. Let your head relax down. And then breathe deeply from the bottom of your lungs to the top. You'll see that your belly and your ribs and your chest, by being contracted in this forward bend, 
may not be where the breath goes. To see where the breath wants to open as you inhale. See where you can let go a little more as you exhale. Can the weight of your body be heavier? Can you let go? Relax. And then start to roll yourself up. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale the left hand down. Bend the right elbow so that your right hand is on your upper back. And then reach your left hand behind you and walk it up your back. See if you can reach your left hand to touch your right hand. If you're working with a strap, you can bring the strap into your right hand, let it hang down, and then grab hold of it with your left hand and walk your left hand up the strap. Continue to breathe. Fullness of your breath, deepening your stretch. Good. Now release that left arm, bring it across your body. Use the right hand to pull it in toward you. Straighten the arm and flex at the wrist like you're making the symbol for stop. Try to keep the left arm straight as you do this and turn your head to the left. So the left arm is across the chest. The spine is tall and the breath is deep and slow. Even feeling the stretch in your fingers as you try to straighten your fingers and have your palm be perpendicular to your forearm. Okay. And relax. Notice which leg is crossed in front or on top of the other leg. And release the legs. Shake them out. and then cross the other way. Inhale, reach up. Get long in the sides of your body and try to stay long as you come forward. Feel your exhale, releasing all the air out, pulling the belly in, emptying, and letting go of the torso, letting go of the elbows, letting go of the head. And then as you empty all the air out, you have more room for a nice deep, Full breath in and see if you can feel that new energy coming into your body, feeding your pose with a sense of vitality and fullness, spaciousness. And then on the exhale, allowing yourself to let go even more. See if it feels like you're holding yourself up with your arms at all. Holding yourself back from a full release into your posture. And exhale all the way around and let go even more. Even more.
And then walk your hands in, roll yourself up. Reach the arms up as you inhale. Exhale the right arm down. Bend the left elbow, placing the hand that you Bring your right hand behind your back and walk your hand up your back, trying to find your left hand. Again, if you're using a strap, you start with it in your left hand, let it hang down and then grab hold of it with your right hand and walk your way up the strap. Finding the fullness of your breath here. Try to keep your body upright, your head neutral. Release the left arm, release the right arm, bring it across your chest. Left hand pulls it in. Bend at the wrist, straighten your left hand, your right hand, and then look over your right shoulder. Stay connected to your breath. The more you feel your breath, the more you encourage it, the more you become aware when there's holding in the body. Because when you're holding in the body, you're not breathing. Your breath is shallow and short. It's almost impossible to breathe deeply and be clenched. Try it. As you start to clench, just pick any muscles and start to tighten them up and really like clench down and then try to breathe deeply. You can't. Okay, release the arms. Let's roll the shoulders. And come forward on your hands and knees. Your hands can be in fists if the wrists are happier that way. Lining your hands up under your shoulders and your knees up under your hips so you're in a table position. Good. And then we're going to come into a sunbird pose. So we're going to inhale and extend the left leg back and look up. Reach back through the toes. Exhale, round the back. Pull the forehead toward the knee. Use your abdominal muscle to pull the knee up toward your forehead and then continue. So the spine moves just like cat and cow. Only we're adding if you want more of a challenge, you can add the right arm so that when the left leg goes back, the right arm can come up and then you pull it. Now bring the hand down if you are using it and send that left leg out to the side so that the foot is in line with the other knee and then walk your hands in, roll yourself up, inhale the arms up, exhale come down into your gateway pose, left hand on the left shin or leg, wherever it lands. Turning your gaze up, opening the ribs, open the chest. 
keep your chin by your armpit so your neck is long. See if you can feel the ease in your neck. If having your gaze up hurts your neck, then you can just bring it down. Good, reach out long through the right hand. Inhale up under the ribs, exhale. Release the weight of your body down to the left. Feel the expansion of the inhale. Opening the side of the body with the breath. Relaxing. Deepening into it. And inhale, coming up. Exhale, down. Bring the knee in. And round the back. And other side. Inhale, lifting the right leg, looking up. Exhale, bring the knee to the forehead, the forehead to the knee, push the ground away from you with your hands or fists. And then add the left arm if you want. No need, it's functional. Inhale, opens the front of the body. You exhale, you round and the contraction helps to squeeze all the air out. Good. If you're using the hand, bring it back down and then take the right leg out to the side, lining up with the knee walking the hands in, roll yourself up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dropping to the right, hand down on the leg. Other arm reaches overhead toward the right side. Good. Turn your gaze up, maybe close your eyes and really feel how the breath helps to expand that left side. See if you feel the ribs being lifted by the inhale. Maybe the space between the ribs and the hip bone, lengthening, stretching open with the breath. When you exhale, surrender to gravity. Let your body slide down to the right. the hands down, come back into table, and round your back. Good. Now extend your legs back, curl your toes under, coming into a plank. So oftentimes in plank, you see a lot of this. You want to try to have a nice straight line from your heels to your head. Pull the belly up to support your back. And then slowly lower to the ground. Some of you will want to put your knees down first. Others of you can stay in plank and just bend the elbows and lower slowly with the knees off the ground. We're all gonna end up in the same place, which is laying on the belly, having the hands rest on either side of the body. Coming onto the forehead, 
The palms are face up alongside the hips or thighs. The bottoms of the feet are facing up. And then press down into the pelvis, press the tailbone into the pubic bone. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the head, roll the shoulders back and in toward each other, then lift the hands. Keep the feet on the ground. Good, lifting the chest. Feel the ribs being floated off the ground by your inhale. Reach back through the fingertips. Shoulder blades in toward each other. Pelvis pressing into the ground and off that downward press, there's the upward lift. And relax down, turn your head to either side, let your heels relax either out or in, whichever seems more restful to you. Breathing into the earth. Imagine that you're exchanging the breath with the earth. Bring your head back to center. Starting with the forehead on the ground. This time we'll clasp the hands behind the back. And then pull the hands apart to help roll the shoulder blades in and straighten the arms. Press down into the hips and pelvis again. And again, inhale and lift the arm, lift the head, lift the chest. And then, if you can, lift the legs. Try to get the thighs off the ground. Just balancing on your pubic bone. And then inhale and feel everything floating up higher. And then exhale, instead of releasing that height down, just sink into the pelvis more. Reach back through the toes. And release down, release the hands, turn to the other cheek. Really rest into the ground. Yeah. Feeling each breath. And now we'll bend the knees, reach the hands back for the feet. If you're not able to reach your feet and you have pants on and you wanna grab hold of the pant leg, that works fine too. It doesn't really matter what you're holding on to as long as you're holding on. If you have a strap and you wanna wrap that around your feet and hold the ends of the strap, that's great too. So notice how when you pull your feet in, it makes your butt want to lift up a little bit and deepens the rounding in your lower back. So we want to counter that and deliberately press the tailbone down. And you'll see that that also gives you a bit of a stretch or maybe for some of you a lot of a stretch in your thigh muscles. Pressing the tailbone down, 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 down while the heels come toward the butt. Good, and then pressing into the pelvis, inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, roll the shoulder blades in, and then kick the feet up and back, trying to lift the thighs off the ground. Looking up toward the sky. Inhale, lift higher. Feel how it feels on the inside. 
Where is it tight and hard to breathe? Breathe there. Use the breath to open the space that feels tight. And release down. Stack your hands under your forehead. Rest your forehead on your hands. Rest your heels out to the side, either flopping open away from each other or in toward each other, if that feels better to you. Feeling the ease. Taking in the relaxation. And then bring your hands under your shoulders to push yourself up. Send your hips back to your heels. And then we'll come into Mecca pose, arms extended overhead. Pressing forward with the hands to send the hips back. And then just experiment. Can you press more into the right hand and feel it in the left hip? And then can you press more into the left hand and send back the right hip? Keep both hands pressing forward. The spine long, the sit bones back. The breath flowing through the length that you create in the hip shape. And then keep your hands where they are. Lift your buttocks off your heels. Spread the fingers wide apart. Curl the toes under. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, push into the hands, lift the knees. And just as we did in the last posture, push the sit bones back by pressing the hands forward. Press the fronts of the thighs toward the backs of the thighs. Pressing the heels toward the ground. Roll your elbows down toward the floor so that the inner elbows roll up toward the sky. And then sometimes if you really do that well, it feels like this space between the index finger and thumb wants to lift up a little bit and then press down into that. Roll the shoulders down the back. Let your head drop heavy. Inhale through the nose. Exhale with a sigh out of the mouth. <sighs> and then two more of those. <sighs> and then walk the feet forward. With soft knees, roll yourself up to standing. Feet hip width apart. Turn the palms to face forward. Feeling receptive as you breathe in. Sinking down into the feet as you breathe out. And then bend your knees, open your eyes if they're closed. Bring all the weight into your left leg. And then lift your right foot and place your ankle just above your left knee on your thigh. You're gazing at a spot in front of you, perhaps on the ground, perhaps at eye level. Probably the ground is easier. 
keep the foot flexed. Feel your breath. And see if you can really focus. The eyes lock in and don't move. The mind locks in on the breath and doesn't move. And then deepen by bending over. If you need to hold on to something for balance, that's fine. If you wanna hold your hands around your left shin, that's fine. Maybe your right hand wants to come to the outer right knee to help that stretch. Finding the new gaze point and locking in on it. Good. And then coming up and stepping that right foot all the way back. Keep the heel lifted off the ground. Bend deeply into the left leg. Good. Take the arms out to the side and bend the elbows. And then send the elbows back. Send the tailbone forward. Lift the chest and lift the gaze. Release the arms down. Step forward. Standing still, eyes closed, palms open, breathing in, sinking into the earth as you breathe out. Breathing the earth into your body, up through your feet. Releasing down into her as you exhale. And open the eyes. Bend the knees. Drop your weight into your right leg. And don't hurry here, really take your time. Really feel how much your foot is supporting your whole body's weight. Take your gaze to a spot in front of you for balance and then lift your left foot up above your right knee keeping the left foot flexed. Now feel your breath. That will stabilize your body and your mind. When your mind wanders, your body wanders. It's very hard to balance when you're thinking about a thousand things. Get centered in your breath and get still in your body. And then take your gaze down, down, down as you bend. Holding on if you need to. Maybe taking the hands around the shin and calf. Maybe bringing the left hand onto the left knee. Staying with your breath. And then lifting up and stepping back with that left leg, bending deeply into the right leg. The back heel is off the ground. Tuck your tailbone under, arms out to the side, elbows bending, cactus arms. Breathe into the chest, reach the elbows back, take the gaze up. Push the heel back behind you and the tailbone forward, feeling the both ends of that long line moving away from each other to create the stretch. Good. Now inhale the arms up, step forward, exhale and bend over. And then gently rock from your toes to your heels. Sway with the breath. Where does it make sense in your body for the inhale to come? Does it coordinate with the swaying forward? 
go with the back. If you're not sure, try both ways and see which one makes the most sense organically for your body and your breath. And then come to stillness. Push the feet into the ground. Pull the thighs up. Scoop the belly in as you exhale. Release the weight of your torso over. And then bend your knees, lowering down onto your buttocks. Come all the way down onto your back. Bring the arms out to the side. Keeping the knees bent, take the feet off the ground and drop them to the left. Turn your head to the right. And then if your right leg is hovering up above your left leg, maybe you want to bring your left hand to it and give it some weight to release down. If your leg is already comfortably resting on the lower leg, then you can bring your left hand to the crease at the top of your right thigh. Left hand to right thigh, and then push away from you. Relax the right shoulder down. Breathe the breath deeper. Slower. And if you're using the left hand, release it. Lift both knees up together and drop them both to the other side. Then turn your head to the left. And this side may be different than the other side. See if you want to try either of those assists with your right hand. Let your hips sink down into the ground. So really let that right hip bone feel the support of the ground below you and let your weight drop down into the bone. Imagine that your belly is still soft, even though it's twisted. And release the right hand if you're using it. Bring the knees to center. And hug them into your chest. Take a breath in and exhale and lift your forehead to your knees and squeeze yourself into a nice tight ball. Squeezing all the air out, all the air out. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling. And when you're absolutely done exhaling, hold the air out. And when you need to take your next breath in, release everything down. Inhale. Tuck your tailbone under, release your legs, shake them out. If you have an eye pillow, place it on your eyes. And then let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Letting go of the weight of your body into the ground. And another deep breath in through the nose out through the mouth, letting go of the jaw, feeling the space between the teeth, the lips and the tongue relax. One more deep inhale through the nose, out through the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind, letting your mind rest in the feeling of your breath. 
letting your breath rest so that you're no longer trying to breathe deeply or slowly, just letting the breath breathe for you. Just feeling the feeling of the breath moving, rising and falling or moving in and Letting yourself relax into that ease of being, that effortless breath, feeling the weight of your body relaxing into the the lightness of your mind relaxing into your breath. Letting go, letting go, letting go. your heart, with the fingers and the toes. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms over your head, stretch long. Exhale, hug the knees to the chest, rocking side to side, massaging your back. And then come center, bring the soles of the feet together, the palms together, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. And then roll over onto your side, resting your head on your arm, resting your body on the ground, noticing how you feel. See if there's one word that comes to you. I am. What is that word? And then press yourself up. Come 
coming into any comfortable position. Sit bones sinking down, head lifting tall. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the hands together at the heart. Inhale the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. And repeat, I am 